this, uh, this is the normal uh, anatomical position of the liver. We will talk about liver. It is under the diaphragm, as you can see. It is composed of uh, the, uh, the anterior surface. This is the anterior surface of the liver. And it also has the uh, visceral surface. As you can see, this is the uh, viscera of the abdomen. And this is the anterior surface below. This is the visceral surface of the liver. First, let's take it back. As you can see, it is enter the diaphragm. It is on the right aspect. Uh, it's in the region on, on the right side of the of the of the body. I guess it's in the region of the right hypochondrium and left uh, uh, reaches to the epigastrium and also some part of the left hypogastrium. Um, the liver, as it's obvious, it is uh, divided into two lobes. Anatomically, you have the right lobe and the left lobe. This distinction is by the falciform ligament. The falciform ligament, it is the remnant of the uh, ventral mesentery from the embryological origin. This is the site of the uh, falciform ligament that uh, divides the liver anteriorly to anatomical right and left lobes. As for in the visceral, now if you can see, I will turn like this. This is the visceral surface. Again, you see, this is the right lobe. Here is the right lobe. And this is the left lobe. We said anteriorly, the falciform ligament divides it. And posteriorly, you have this, these fissures. On the superior aspect, you have ligamentum venosum. This is the fissure for the ligamentum venosum. It's occupied by the uh, fissure for it. And this is occupied by the ligamentum venosum. Below, below you have a fissure for the ligamentum teres. And this itself is the ligamentum teres. The ligamentum teres is the remnant for a left umbilical vein of the embryo. And the ligamentum venosum is the remnant of the ductus venosus in the, in the embryo. These two together participate with the, with the, the falciform ligament to uh, divide the lobe to uh, the liver into left and right lobes. And we have a term, they, they say that functionally the, the liver is div divided into, uh, again, to right and left lobes, but uh, the site of the, 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 the division uh, slightly comes to the right side. So this is anatomical, but um, fun functionally it will be divided above here. Now, in the visceral surface, as you can see, this is the uh, inferior vena cava. This is inferior vena cava, and here we have the gallbladder. Now, this is the side of division of the right, of the anatomical right lobe, of the uh, functional right lobe, and the functional left lobe. Um, these two parts of the right lobe are added to the functional left lobe. This is the caudate process, uh, caudate uh, lobe of the right. Uh, just basically, this is the caudate lobe. And below, we have the quadrate lobe. As you can see, it has four or, uh, boundaries. So this is the quadrate, uh, quadrate lobe. And here, we said well, this is the caudate. How to remember, in, you see, caudate cava. Caudate cava. That's how you can remember. This is the caudate lobe of the liver. And here, you have the caudate process. This is the caudate process. We said this is the quadrate lobe. And this region is the region of the porta hepatis. This busy region here uh, is the region for porta hepatis, the hilum of the lung, of the liver. This green structure is the gallbladder. It's composed of three parts. This is the fundus of the gallbladder. This is the body. And then you have the neck. The neck continues, as the cystic, continues with the cystic duct. Let's take it back to its normal position. Normally, the fundus of the, of the gallbladder is shown and the, uh, in the anterior surface uh, of the liver. That's the fundus of the gallbladder. To uh, come back to the porta hepatis, we said this is the cystic duct. The cystic duct co combines with the common hepatic duct to form the common bile duct. Now, this is the common bile duct. Next to it, this red artery, this is the hepatic artery. We said, come here. We said this is the uh, common hepatic artery. As we said, this is the common hepatic artery. And then becoming hepatic proper. Now this artery ascends up to become, this is the, the continuation of that artery. It becomes the left artery. This is the left, gas, uh, left uh, hepatic. And this is the right hepatic. Maybe it's cystic because the cystic artery also is a normally a branch of the right, gas, uh, right hepatic artery, but not, not visible. And um, this is the portal vein. 
what you can see, this is the portal vein. Um, one more thing, uh, this is, I, I think this is the left hepatic duct. Left hepatic duct, as you know, the left hepatic duct and the right hepatic duct, this is the right hepatic duct, this one. These two combine together from the common hepatic, and then the common hepatic uh, combines uh, or fuses with the cystic duct to form the uh, common bile duct. Mm. We have another model of the liver. This is the easier model of the, of the liver. Um, as you can see, again, the, the, the left lobe, this is the right lobe, this is the falciform ligament, um, this is the fundus of the, of the gallbladder. Uh, this, we said this, this is the inferior vena cava. We need the visceral surface. Now, we said this is the fundus of the gallbladder, the body, the neck, cystic duct. I think it's four centimeters long. Here we have the common hepatic duct, uh, uh, common hepatic duct, that's right, uh, forming the common bile duct. This is the common bile duct. This is the portal vein. This is the hepatic artery. All right? Um, we said this is the coded, process, uh, coded lobe, coded process, quadrate lobe, ligamentum teres, Ligamentum teres, ligamentum, uh, this is the fissure for ligamentum venosum, ligamentum venosum itself. We forgot some important structures on, the, on this uh, model. As we can see, we said this is the falciform ligament. Uh, to, on the, on the uh, superior aspect of the liver, we can see the falciform ligament reflex or to the left and to the right. On the left, you have the left coronary, left triangular ligament. As you can see, this is left triangular ligament. On the right, this is the right uh, coronary ligament. I'll take it like this. This is the right uh, coronary ligament. And then becoming the, as you can see, this sharp edge, this is the right uh, triangular ligament here. Right triangular ligament. Um, on the superior aspect, as you can see, this, this surface is under the diaphragm, as you can see. We see a bare area. This is called the bare area of the liver. It is located between the two limbs of, the, of this triangle, between the coronary, the right coronary uh, ligament and the uh, a limb of the right coronary of the right triangular ligament. This is the bare area. Only difference uh, with the liver is that the lymphatic drainage of this area is uh, being taken to the mediastinum region. Uh, this bare area is devoid of peritoneum, as you can see. Uh, this is, it has a nice look. <laughs> it is, this is a devoid of, uh, devoid of peritoneum, and only uh, two more regions are devoid of peritoneum. I guess this is the, the inferior vena cava is also devoid of peritoneum with the fundus, of, with the gallbladder. These areas are devoid of peritoneum. As I said, this, um, this model is easier, so I will talk about the ligaments again. We said the falciform ligament ascending uh, upward. This is the left triangular ligament. On the right side, this is the right, uh, this is the right coronary ligament, and then, as you can see, uh, right triangular ligament. Of this, this is the right triangular ligament. This area is the bare area of the liver, and superiorly, this is the caudate lobe of the liver. Um, we, we forgot the impressions on the liver, although they said they are not that important, and we have put it uh, into the anatomical position so you can imagine them better. As you can see. Here is the entrance of the esophagus. That's the esophagus. And if you put the liver, there you go. This is the entrance of the esophagus. Okay, so we said this is the anatomical position. I'm flipping it in this way. This is the left lobe. This is the entrance of the, uh, the impression for the esophagus. And this is the gastric impression for the stomach. It's obvious. This is for here. So that's the gastric impression. Okay. This is for the pylorus. It's obvious here. That's the pylorus. Okay, so it's directly here. Okay, here's for the duodenum. First part and the second part of the duodenum. I don't know. Just as you can see, these are the pylorus and then the duodenum. When you put them back, it's directly over here. This is the uh, for the duodenum impression for the duodenum. This is impression. Um, let's see. Okay, it's for the uh, column. Is directly at the hepatic flexure. This is the side of the hepatic flexure. Here. As you can see, directly goes into under each other. And behind the hepatic flexure, this uh, impression for the hepatic flexure, you have impression for the, le uh, for the right uh, kidney and the right suprarenal gland. Right kidney and the right suprarenal gland. That's it.